始まりと終わりが待ち合わせて踏み切って越しに別れ続けて見飽きた顔に同じ口癖くだらないもの残そうとし今耳をついた春の季節は一円出し買いを晴らすよう出なから t a k e me Hi, everybody. This is Kevin, and welcome back to another anime review. And today I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on Digimon Ghost Game episode 59, which overall I thought was another solid episode, although the ending was a bit rushed. There's some cool stuff that happens at, during the ending, but it's like, man, that could have been its own episode. But anyway, we'll, we'll get to that later on in the review.、Uh, we'll start by talking about the Monster of the Week, which there's two of them. Tonosama Gekkomon and then just regular Gekkomon. And、uh, apparently, that's the correct name to, to translate you know, the ultimate form of Gekkomon. I remember in the original dub, it was Shogun Gekkomon, but apparently, it's Tonosama Gekkomon now. Or maybe it always was, and that was like a bad dub translation. But、uh, it's mainly a Kiyoshiro centered episode, him going full on weeb, where Jellymon's out running her errands, and he meets this fellow otaku named. Mero, who、uh, <laughs> is his new wife, I suppose, and Kiyoshiro and her go to this event where they see like a live action Super Sentai、uh, performance. And what's happening with Tonosama Gekkomon is he's, he's not really a villain, he's more of a misunderstood Digimon who is trying to fight crime but inadvertently hurting humans and it turns them into data. It, In the beginning, it seems like he's killing them, but oh no, we can't kill people in a children's show. We're going to turn them into data. So he's trying to fight crime, but he's just doing it in a, in a bad way. And there, look at Kiyoshiro blushing with his new wife when he's blushing at the Super Sentai performance. And,、uh, you know, God bless him. Kiyoshiro has, has scored the most ladies in this whole series from, we'll say Jellymon, we'll put her there. Jellymon, Emma, the blonde babe from a few episodes back. This chick, I mean, bravo, Kiyo. You're, you're rocking it. But, um, What happens is Tonosama Gekkomon shows up at the Super Sentai performance and is looking for Jiraiya Dono, or Jiraiya, which is a reference not only to Naruto, but also Japanese folklore with, with the Toad Sage, the, the Jiraiya. And there's, there's some images that are literally taken, copy and paste from Jiraiya, or Jiraiya from Naruto in, into Digimon. <laughs> so I thought that was great.、Uh, but yeah. He, he, Kiyoshiro eventually calls Hiro and Roly and says, You guys gotta save me! And, and there's Gekkomon, like, Oh no, you have to help Tonosama Gekkomon! You're the new Jiraiya Dono, Lord, Lord Jiraiya. But slowly but surely, he is fusing with Tonosama Gekkomon's body, and you can see all around him, like, Digimon, again, toes the line very well between being a children's show and having, like, the, the gore porn, because you see all these faces on the back of Tonosama Gekkomon, and Kiyoshiro is slowly withering away, and Jellymon's trying to help him. I had previously thought that this episode was going to be Jellymon's Mega Evolution debut, but because her tamer is, you know, Unable to, to activate his Digivice, she can't Digivolve. And so Lamortmon and Siriusmon Digivolve, and they start fighting, to which they lose to Tonosana Gekkomon. And that's just because, you know, you might be wondering two ultimates versus one ultimate. Well, they explain that Tonosama Gekkomon gained more power by fusing with all these humans. So it makes sense in a certain, certain instance. And the big reveal. Is the fact that we see Gullus Gamamon again because, you know, they have a time limit. I don't know why they didn't Digivolve into Sirius Mon and, and Deer Bit Mon, but they just went to their ultimates. And Gamamon continues to get his ass beat and he goes completely berserk, turning into Gullus Gamamon. And I think this is maybe the fourth or fifth time we've seen him throughout the series. It's always, it's always very keno when he appears. But he's, he's more passive aggressive now than being like a full on vero- villain. He's, he's more of an anti hero now. And I feel like they're trying to go in the Beelzemon ro- road from、uh, Digimon Tamers. But he's telling Hero, you know, we gotta sync up, bro. Come on, bro. And it reminded me of Hollow Ichigo. You know, Hollow Ichigo always going back and forth with, with Ichigo.、Uh, a lot of interesting comparisons there. And he tells Hiro that he's gonna kill Tonosama Gekkomon, but before he kills him, he's gonna save Kiyoshiro. Now, Gullus Gamamon from his debut would have just killed people regardless, so he's sort of towing the line of being an anti hero now. 
And uh, Hiro was able to, to talk some sense into him. And they pull Kyoshiro out. And then he goes back to normal. So a little rush at the end. I thought it was it was cool to see it. But a little rushed. And also, which I'll show you with more of the screenshots in, in a second. As he's digivolving, you see in the distance watching Black War Growlmon, Black Gargamon, and Black Agumon watching all this. So it ends happy go lucky episode <laughs> where they give Gekomon and Todosama Gekomon to Meru, uh, Kiyoshiro's new friend, and Gekomon doesn't remember he's asleep like the little baby he is, and that's that. So overall, interesting things happen in this episode, just a little bit rushed. I still enjoy it though. So here's uh, Todosama Gekomon, right? Which he appeared in all in Adventure, Zero Two, Cross Wars, all of them, right? So he's been in all of them. You guys should know who he is. Gecko Mon, the champion form, who uh, was buddies with that purple guy. What was his name? Ada Maman. Yeah, from they're friends with Mimi from from the original series. Oh, in the opening now, we we see Dear Bitmon, which uh, there was some confusion that he he was a evolution of Diaboramon because of how it's spelled but it's like no it's Dear Bitmon <laughs> I don't know about the name but he's still a cool design so here's some more of the images from earlier that I showed you here's some of my screenshots like look at him scheme at Jellymon Sama is out late on business tonight and then he, he meets Meru and they're comparing all their weeb knowledge this is Magical Detective Elf Special Comics Edition stickers which if you guys remember he cosplayed as this dude early on <laughs> It was fucking hilarious. And this is Fox Sama's Kyoto exclusive. <laughs> Fox Sama. What the fuck, dude? So, yeah, look, my dude, you know, score, score in the babes, right? So then we got some sweet moments of Gaumon and his Psycho Champion, his uh, chocolate banana. And there's the Super Sentai performance to which Todosama Gekomon's like, who's Jiraiya Dono? And because he's going around hurting people, Kiyoshiro, who I believe is the best character in this whole series, you know, he's a bit of a wimp, he's a scaredy cat, but when the, the, the time comes, he always steps up and does what he has to do, and he stands up and says, I am Jiraiya, take me. So helping all the people around him, this guy, Hiro never did anything like this, fucking Kiyoshiro stands up and says, I am the Jiraiya, take me. And he protects all, all the innocent people. So, bravo to Kiyoshiro. Again, the best character in this whole series, in my opinion. So, <laughs> I took this screenshot. I thought this was fucking hilarious. Espimon sees him. <laughs> Just this screenshot is great. Just both their faces that they're making. Are you for real? <laughs> I thought that was great, man. Espimon tries to get involved in the fight, too. But he can't really do much. So, yeah, this is the comparison to fucking Jiraiya from Naruto. <laughs> <laughs> right? The Toad Sage. I showed you that one before. Jellybon trying to rescue. And yeah, I, I didn't get why they didn't just digital to their Megas. But, you know, I guess for the plot point of having Gullus Gaumon. And they have a time limit now. So Gaumon goes berserk. And turns into Gullus Gaumon. Hero and Jellybon are shitting their pants. And this is the first time Espimon's seen Gullus Gaumon. He says, whoa, what is this? And as he's digivolving, it shows... Black Gargamon, Black Agumon, which these guys have all appeared in the other episodes he's Digivolved before. So what the fuck is that about? And then Black Growlmon. What is going on? And then remember, Black Tailmon, who I believe is Hokuto's Digimon. He shows up, and he's, he's ready to kill Gekomon. And then Hero's like, no, don't do it. It's only a matter of time, bro. Sync up with me, bro. And, uh, yeah... <laughs> This is Totozama Gekomon. It's my divine duty to carry Jiraiya Dodo on my back and punish evil. And then regular Gekomon becomes the new Jiraiya Dodo. <laughs> and then they they give the two of them to this bitch to take care of. And, but first, before the scene happened, she was like thanking Kyoshiro and Jellymon's like, No, that's my darling. Like, darling's mine. <laughs> so that confirms the shit between the two of them. And she says, living with monsters sounds fun like straight out of an anime. Uh, so they just drop them off at her house. Okay, take care of this this giant fucking monster. Good luck, lady. <laughs> so yeah, good stuff. I enjoyed the episode, but I, I do agree that... um, I thought it was cool if Gull Scott on, but I agree that was kind of rushed and it could have been its own episode. And I think this is the preview for next week's episode, right? <laughs> Look at the 
fucking the imagery in the children's show. Holy shit. And I think I had some some fan art too. Yeah, here's Okay, how many more episodes till Gullis Galbot appears again? Because it's like every 10 episodes he appears. I think that's the fourth or fifth time. And then uh, get ready. Some people may, may not like this, but we got some some raunchy fan art of Thetis Vaughn, the evolution line, and then Keo and his harem. And that's because I believe, we'll go to the 4chan thread, I believe next week we're going to get her mega evolution. Here's the synopsis. You can pause it. But but at the very end, it says, Just then, Kiyoshiro and Thetismon's will s- synchronize. So they pretty much spoiled that we're going to get the mega evolution. Um, so, yeah. Looking forward to it. And that's next week with, um, you know, this, uh, this wonderful image. But, yeah, I enjoyed the episode. I thought it was um, a lot of fun. Again, just a little bit rushed at the end, but it is what it is. I still enjoy the series. I was going to do the show report on the Digi now because he's complaining again about his views, but I think that's such low-hanging fruit that it is what it is. So thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos later in the week. I am going to try and do a live stream tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. It'll be scheduled, community posts and all that stuff. Uh, But otherwise, I got my pre-recorded videos and um, another Digimon Ghost Game Review next week, episode 60. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day, and we'll talk to you later. Peace out.